Hello everybody and welcome back to a very very special episode of Hermitcraft Season 5 with me, Full Symmetry. And today we're over here at the Games District. We're going to have a quick loop around and see if there's anything going on. Because I didn't actually check anything out when I actually came here earlier. Because earlier I was invited to join the pilot episode of our very own Hermitcraft game show. Called, Is That Sheep Looking At Me? It is one of my favourite game shows ever. I mean, look at it. There is, there he is, Mr. Game Show Host, actually hanging out down there. I didn't even realise he was actually down there, but he is. So apologies if I actually made a noise there and ruined his recording. Hopefully I didn't. I'm going to hang out over here instead. But, uh, yes, myself, Tango and Cobman, and obviously ZF, is, of course, as well, uh, went ahead and played a round of Is That Sheep Looking At Me? So enjoy the episode, guys. Leave a like if you did enjoy the collab, and I'll catch you guys after the video. To thank you all for watching and I hope you guys enjoy it. Welcome to Is That Sheep Looking At Me, the game show that answers those all important life questions. I am your host Zedaf. Let's meet our first contestant. First up we have Full Symmetry. Woo! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Hi Fulls, how you doing? Hi, I'm good. Just getting in position. Good, there we go. Thank, thanks for coming on the show. Oh, you look really short when you crouch yeah. down like that. <laughs> just ahead. Middle. I can't reach. I can't reach the button. <laughs> what colour have you picked to dye your sheep today? I have picked light blue. Excellent. Let's yeah. see it. Let's see it on. Shall I? Shall I dye the sheep? Go for it. If you can reach. There you I go. I can out. reach. Perfect. Oh, look at that lovely blue sheep. But mm -hmm. all I can see right now. <laughs> yep. Fantastic. Okay, let's get the next contestant on. We have a cub fan. Woo woo woo! Thank you. Cub thank fan, you. Dude. Thank you. Good to be here. Good to be here. <laughs> How you doing, cub? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, I'm actually doing my first game show ever, so I'm I'm very happy right now. Ooh, Feeling the buzz. Nice. Oh, <laughs> hang, hang on, hang on. I, I was going to send a message to that sheep. I'm coming for him here, fighting some mutton. Oh, there that's fighting talk. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that in this place. That's it's forbidden. But I'll, I'll let you off. Um, okay. cool. So, what do you what do you think you've got that will let you win this game show? What what what's it, what's it take to win? Oh, it takes a deep a deep knowledge of sheep. And a belly full of Thanks. mutton. And a belly, that, that, that too, absolutely. <laughs> that, that, absolutely. that helps quite often. Um, mm -hmm. So what, what, mm -hmm. what color have you picked for your sheep and why? I have selected blue because it's it's sheep's favorite color. So they, they should appreciate that and uh, give me the advantage. Interesting. So we got a nice blue shade of stuff going on here. We have a whole little rainbow at this rate. I hope Tango's Indeed. not picked blue as well. Oh, and speaking of which, our third contestant, Mr. Tango Tech. Yay, Tango! <laughs> I can just see him creeping in the side. <laughs> oh, I tag <laughs> right, Can I get I in your here? booth, man? <laughs> Stop milking it. Stop showboating in front of the stick people audience. Excellent. Um, hi, Tango. Welcome. Hello, Mr. Zenov. Welcome to the show. Um, a little birdie told me that you actually helped build some of these contestant booth buzzer thingies is that correct that is true i'm not sure if i actually helped though because we made it worse but i was inside involved. Of inside exactly of so are you planning to cheat today or is that uh no but if my buzzer always works first then it's totally coincidence <laughs> <laughs> well i guess we'll see um so we've got our contestants let's start round one Dango, get in your hole. Dye your sheep red, I forgot. I had to dye my sheep. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, so round one, we're going to ask 16 questions. First person to buzz in gets to try to answer first. You want to try your buzzers out quickly? Oh, ah. Tango got there first. Very nice. Oh, okay. Cub. <laughs> there we go. Then, that's a, that was a deep, yeah. excellent ding noise. <laughs> yeah, whoever did this must be a genius. This is, this is a great system. <laughs> It's, it's not bad, is it? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so are we ready? 16 questions. Question number one. Go. Who can spell the word sheep? Tango. Oh. S-H-E-E-P. Very good. One point for Tango. <laughs> uh, second question. Who can answer this question first? Oh. God, you got it. <laughs> Me. Very what? good. Correct answer. Well Dang done. It. I would have also accepted false or Tango. <laughs> Any of you could have. Oh, just, no. That's how the game works. Uh, question number three. Who can do a sheep impression? Tango. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> They're all kind of looking your way, so I, I think you kind of maybe did a successful... I do have a tendency to excite them. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. You've not got wheat on you, have you? That's No, no, I don't. That's very much against the rules. 
I should have uh, frisked, frisked everybody when they came in. <laughs> uh, next question. How many legs do five sheep have? Cub? 20. Very good. Correct answer. Very nice Ooh. and quick. How many legs do 3,569 sheep have? 20. Oops. Correct. Yes, they yeah. were all involved oh. in a terrible, terrible oh. accident. <laughs> um, and they lost all of wow. their legs. That's well impressive. done. <laughs> I'm good, guys. I'm good. <laughs> Who can pronounce sheep backwards? Tango. Please. I'm afraid that's incorrect. Do either oh. of you two want to give it a go? Push. That's much closer than... The... <laughs> I'm going to give like you the that. point, Fools. You get yeah. the point. Sorry, Tango. I'll take it. <laughs> Does a sheep have two, three, or four stomachs? Cub. Three. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Any other answers? False. Two? Incorrect! Tango, oh. come on, you can't get this wrong. One less than it should. <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying one. <laughs> Incorrect. No points for anybody, oh. I'm afraid. Oh, Terrible. Disgrace. Terrible. True or false? Not you, false. True oh. or false? Will I be giving the first person to buzz in a free point? Tango. False! Sorry, I will be giving you a point. Um, I can't. Oh. I, I can't. You got it right. I very much apologise. One point for you, Tango. <laughs> Other than a blue sheep, name four things that are blue. Tango. Uh, lapis. Your pants. The water behind you. And cub sheep. Very nice. Very nice. And the fact that there are two blue sheep here and you didn't pick both of them—that's that says something about your uh, your confidence there. Well done. A female sheep is called a ewe. What is a male sheep called? Cub. A me. <laughs> a ewe. <laughs> that, that would, that, I should have had that as the answer. That is incorrect, I'm afraid. Anybody else? Um. Hmm. <clears throat> Wrong. I'm afraid the answer was ram. Or oh, I would have also accepted Kevin or John. But oh. <laughs> we'll see. So, a female. What was a sheep? Female sheep called then? The tango. Are you? Yes, it was. And how dare you call me that? But fair enough. Um, <laughs> who is the most handsome game show host? False. Well, well, it said off, of course. Exactly correct. That oh, was very yeah. What's going on here? Hey, you um, in the corner. No kissing up. No kissing I, may up. Also, <laughs> I may have forgotten to be writing the scores down, so that'll be interesting to see what they are. Um, who can spell the word mutton backwards whilst also stopping halfway through to spell the word lamb forwards? Tango. <laughs> uh, N O T B M A L. Wrong. Who, <laughs> anyone else? Cub. N O T L A M B T U M. Very good, Cub. Oh. Perfect. Ooh. Top oh, that was supposed there. to be forward. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> other than wheat, what other foods do Minecraft sheep eat? Tango. Me. Incorrect. The answer is nothing, I'm afraid. <sighs> they only eat wheat. That is all you can feed them. And they certainly would not eat you. <laughs> um, <laughs> next question. Are there more than 900 million sheep in the world? Cub. Yes. You're correct. There are. There are exactly one billion sheep to to the sheep, to the final sheep, exactly that amount. When one is born, another one must die. That is how that works. A male <laughs> sheep is called a ram, but how much ram does my computer have? Tango. 32 gigs. Your name. <laughs> 32 gigs? Yes. So you said, correct. Well done. How do you know that? <laughs> you shouldn't know that. Uh, and that was, that, was, that, was, uh, <laughs> that was round one. So at the end of round one... Including yeah. some of those points that I may have forgotten to write down, we have False with three points, Cub with four points, and Tango in the lead with six points. I'm pretty sure oh, he has been cheating. And his buzzers, my buzzers fixed. But I guess we'll see what happens in the future rounds. So we are now at round two. I'm going to need you guys to look at the window in front of you there and you will see a variety of animals flow on by. You've got to try and remember everything you see, the order, the colours, the breed, just as, as much information as you can. And there will be some questions following the, the 
animal parade. The a correct answer will be worth two points and an incorrect answer will be worth minus two points. So make sure you're, you're nice and confident with your mm-hmm. guesses there. Are we all ready for the, the animal show? Yep. Now ready. <laughs> the ding of <laughs> approval. Here goes. <laughs> it's actually broken. <laughs> <laughs> Technical difficulties, can we get a stage hand? And one second. <laughs> okay, now we should be working in three, two, one. Let the animals flow. I hope. Fingers crossed. Okay, remembering. Whoops. <laughs> we may have a chicken escapee, but that's fine. <laughs> Okay, excellent. Have you stored all that information in your memories? <laughs> sure. Uh, I also I also may not have remembered much of it myself, so this is going to be interesting. Yep. Other than that chicken, what was the last animal to flow by? Ooh. I see. Uh, Ooh. That, wait, Ooh. Was, did that we was have double ding once. there? Faulty that's, buzzer system. That's interesting. One second, I'm going to have to come on down there and Judges, uh, judges. And, and and have a have a reading buzzer thing. A reading <laughs> off. A reading. <laughs> a reading off. Uh oh. Oh dear. Uh, oh, we have, we have critters. Vermin. We have more audience members now as well. That's how I get my <laughs> yep, audience. Yep. <laughs> um, hang on. I should be able to do some cool parkour. <laughs> oh, Excellent. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Again, would you like to reading your buzzers? Oh. Cub. <laughs> a pig. I do believe you are correct. Yes! Who was the other dinger? Me. False. You, you dig yeah. as well for... Okay, sorry, I couldn't see from the view up there. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> How many chickens did you see? Tango. Two! I believe that was correct. How many saddled animals did you see? False. Zero. I think that's incorrect. Does anyone else want another go? Cub? One. Yeah, I think that is correct. Dang it. Tell me if I'm wrong here. (laughs) (laughs) I may well be getting it more wrong than you guys. Um, And the final question, added together, how many legs did you see total? False. 98. (laughs) I think that's incorrect, I'm afraid. I'm so, so sorry. Cub. 40. <laughs> Three, four, hang on, carry the two. 60. I think that's right. <gasps> Amazing. No way. <laughs> I think that's correct. I believe according to the, 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 yeah, the producers are in my ear right now. They're agreeing 40 is the correct number, Cub. All right, all right, Extra all right. two points for you. Well done on round two. That rhymed. Okay, I think I've got the final scores. The final scores at the end of round two. False, you have minus one. Cub, you have ten points. And Tango, you have eight points. So <gasps> I'm, a, I'm afraid to say, False, you, you are not in the final Aww. round. But Cub and Tango, congratulations, you've made it to the final of Is That Sheep looking at me. Everybody, big round of applause uh, for False. <laughs> false it's the walk of shame. You, you get a VIP seat in the audience. How about yeah. that? Yeah. Uh, you go okay, join, join the lion tamer over there. Yeah. He's, he's the only guy in the <laughs> And the random right endermite wherever okay. he went. He's yeah. nice and friendly. <laughs> I've got so to do it like this. Don't you worry about that. There you go. <laughs> oh. Aha. I wonder what that was then. Perfect. Got a good seat. Perfect. Tango and Cub, would you like to make your way over to the final showdown place? I haven't got a name for it yet. Place of pig detection. <laughs> Sheep detection. Uh, I'm gonna need yes, an you're, you're going to lose. <laughs> oh, there uh, you go. Oh, oh, hang on. Yeah, Cub's got one. Extra points, Cub. Extra points. Oh. oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So we are going to have... Three mini rounds here of Is That Sheep Looking At Me. Please stand on your glass blocks and face away from the sheep. Ooh. Cobb, best of luck to you. This best is of all luck. comes down to. Indeed. I'm ready. Okay. At a I'm certain point, my whole life. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you both to turn around, and at that moment, we will see whether you are correct, whether the sheep is looking at you or is not looking at you. I assume you want us to like push a button first. I want you to put your vote in with the button to the left and the right of you, whichever way you think uh, it's going to be. You, you will you will get a point for whether you are correct. Either way, whichever way you do it. Begin contemplating. Vote locked in. You've got, got it already, Tango. You're sticking with it. 
I'm sticking with tell, it. You want to tell Cub maybe what you've pressed? Cub, I'm, I'm going to say that the sheep is looking at me. Because he was looking at you before, and I think in the time he has turned around to face me. Well, I think I think I think he's probably looking at me now because he he was looking at you, but now since it's time time has passed, he's looking back at me. He needs to keep an eye on, on both of us. Gotcha. We'll I will see, tell we'll you, see. he looks very confused. Whoever he's looking at. <laughs> Could you both turn around in three, two, one? <gasps> he's looking at neither of you. Nobody. He's looking at me. Oh, <laughs> correct. <laughs> Tango got That's the right, point. Correct. He voted Excellent. no. <laughs> That is some heart-pounding action right there. <laughs> no, no point for you there, Cub. Would you please put your backs to the lamb? <laughs> okay, so any any tactics you may, may have picked up there? You may, may get voting, by the way, whichever way you see fit. Any any tactics you picked up from the first round? There's an exciting so. third option that it ne it's looking at neither one of us. Yeah. I've that. Well, it's whether if it's looking at you or not. So if mm -hmm. it's not looking at either of you, then you may get a point. I think... I think this sheep is going to look at me because it's heard of a certain service in the area that it really wants to be part of. <laughs> you're, mm. you're tugging at my heartstrings there. I know, I, I know. I don't know whether I can be impartial to that or not. This sheep has heard the calling. <laughs> I'm going I'm to employ some tactics here. I got some mutton in my hand. I think the sheep will not look at me because it doesn't want to see its uh, fallen brethren. So I think that might... Might play a factor. That's not against the rules. I heard wheat was against the rules, but nothing about <laughs> mutton. So yeah, mutton is more than than welcome. Even though yes, you, you you may make a few sheep cry, but but we'll see. Interesting, a last minute button push there. Could you please look around in three, two, one? Look. No, no, you were both incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> that sheep loves mutton. He's a cannibal and. Cub, you just fell right into that trap. Man. This sheep is never going to see this, guys. I'll oh, tell you yes. that right now. <laughs> Miss Mutton and leave he's just going to keep looking at you. <laughs> and so at the minute, Cub... No, Tango, sorry. You were in the lead right now with one point. So oh, this, it's all to... It's uh, all to well, t Cub, you can basically make this a draw right now. And then mm -hmm. we'll have to do a, a playoff. So please, okay. yeah, both look away from that sheep and get, get voting. Oh. Interesting, interesting. Oh, the psychological game. You see, because it could be looking at you, but it could not be looking at you. I well. know, that's, the decisions are overwhelming. That's the thing you've got to take into account, you know? it's You, you, just, don't, you just don't know in this game. But it's very interesting. I'm feeling the pressure. I'm feeling yeah, the, the pressure, pressure too. I've, I've got, my, got my vote locked in. All right. Interesting. Okay, would you turn around in three, two, one, spin? <laughs> You're <laughs> both correct. Which means, <laughs> Cub, you get a point, and Tango, you get your second point. Cub, yes. I'm very sorry, but Tango, you are uh, the winner of Is That Sheep do, Looking do, do, at Me? Do, do, do. Oh, is there a victory lap or something? <laughs> you may receive your prize if you join me just down here. Oh, I can't um, wait. I'm so excited. Ooh. You can look in the shulker box and, and take your prize. Oh, 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 oh come oh, and look oh, in the okay. shulker box. That's it. Oh, okay, okay. Go, go for it. It's all yours. <laughs> Whoa, oh, it's a actually speedboat. looking at me, golden trophy. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Set up in such an you, honor to be the you, first champion. You're, you're very welcome. Well done. You played a, a valiant effort. Um, <laughs> you, you did a good job. You didn't try and feed the sheep mutton, which some other players may have done. And Hey, you did... hey. <laughs> There was no cheating I think, involved. I think that tactic may have may have yeah put the worked for you. So so well and, done. And uh, by the way, yes, some some animals may have been harmed during the making of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, possibly, quite possibly, but we'll see. <laughs> but that is it for this episode of Is That Sheep Looking at Me? Thank you very much for playing, you guys. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Well, there we go. That was the game show. Sadly, guys, I didn't make it. I didn't do very well. I've never ever thought I would be good at any game shows on TV. So I didn't really have high hopes myself over there either. Although I did get a pretty good, pretty good couple of questions in there. 
for sure. I completely forgot at the end that I would lose points, but I was pretty much going to be behind anyway, so losing points or having minus points wasn't really an issue for me. But there we go, that was a lot of fun. Massive thank you to Zedaf. Definitely check out his, his video if you haven't already. He will, I'm sure, have some really high production value that probably trumps us all. Uh, but yes, that was super, super fun. I enjoyed playing that against Tango and Cub Fan, and they were worthy opponents, of course. So uh, leave a like if you'd enjoy the club, as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode episode. See ya! When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.